I'm gonna trim this video down a bit. So it is a little bit shorter, but I think you'll agree, still a cut above. Hello you lot, Miller Corner here. Welcome back once again to another virtual car meet. That's right, it's been around about a month since I asked you lovely lot to submit clips of your cars, talking us through them all, why you love them and why you own them. Well, I did say that after watching the first one, if any of the rest of you were interested in taking part, to send your clips in and we'd have another virtual car meet. There's been enough to make a video out of it now, so without further ado, let's crack on and look at your mad cars. And where better to start with a near quarter century old Fiat that looks like it just rolled out of the factory. This is Simon with his Fiat Punto. Hi there, my name's Simon um, and I just want to show you around my car which is a 1995 Fiat Punto um, 75 ELX. Quite a rare car nowadays, um, especially in this colour which is exploit yellow. There was only at last check in 18 of these tacks still on the road. Um, when was the last time we seen a, a Mark 1 Punto? Um, this is my baby, um, it's had a full restoration by me over the last six years. A few rare bits on the car, um, very hard to get bits like genuine Fiat headlight protectors, genuine mud flaps, uh, optional Punto GT alloy wheels which were an option on the car when it was new. And again you've got the rear mud flaps as well, it's still got its 1995 car of the year sticker on the back and being the ELX it's also got a few luxuries on it like uh, an electric sunroof as you can see it's also got driver's airbag a 60 CD changer still has its original mats in it completely and utterly standard you go 1.2 litre 75 brake horsepower multi-point injection I work in a Fiat garage so all the bits that I've used to restore it have all been genuine Fiat parts thanks very much Bye bye. Next up is Charlie with a two car garage that shows the man has got fine taste indeed. We've got an Alpha 156 and a Saab 95 Aero. Hello Millie Corner, this is my Saab 95 Aero. As you can see she's looking quite glamorous. There's your aeroplane looks like you're after with the traditional handbrake down here. It's got a CD player and it's got a tape player. As you can see, it's a full leather interior. Pause you for the cluster. It's mahoosive, as you can see. Jump needs are more for the um, Alpha rather than the Saab, funny enough. 2.3 turbo in all her dirty glory. Here is my Alpha in all her glory. Apologies in advance, she's quite dirty. Wooden centre console points. And the lovely Momo steering wheel. To go with the Momo layout, of course. <laughs> And there's your twin spark in all glory. Unfortunately, she needs a little clean. Bless her. Occasionally, I get asked if I still lust after a Honda S2000, and the answer to that question is very much still yes. Not helped by the fact that Stephen's car that we're about to see is pretty much exactly how I'd have one. It's a fantastic car, and given that Stephen's got a YouTube channel called Dorset Scouser's Garage, where he shows more about his S2000, there's no excuse not to go and look at it and frankly go and lust after one for yourself. Hi Joe, and all the subscribers to Miller's Corner. My name is Stephen and I run a small YouTube channel called Dorset Scouser's Garage. Please allow me to introduce my 1999 Japanese import Honda S2000. It has a 2 litre inline 4 engine which produces 250 brake horsepower. It's yellow, which we all know is the best colour. The car was imported in 2007 with 100,000 kilometres on the clock and the speedo was converted to miles an hour and since then it's done a further 48,000 miles. So it's on roughly just over 100,000 miles. When I bought the car it came with a ARC intake system which takes up most of the engine bay, a HKS high power twin exit exhaust system, it's loud at the higher rev ranges, but when you're just cruising it's not too bad, it's not too drony. Work Emotion 17 inch alloys and yellow speed coilovers and a big brake kit. Since then I've added a carbon fibre vented bonnet and a big wing at the back. The car unfortunately is not with me at the moment. Um, it is currently in for an engine rebuild. Sadly, it looks like one of the main bearings or more, more than one of the main bearings have spun. 
There's evidence of this happening before. The crankshaft has been ground down a few times um, in previous ownerships and it's about time that everything gets replaced. So it's in for a full rebuild, new crankshaft, new pistons, new rods, um, new timing chain, oil pump. Um, the works basically is costing me an arm and a leg, but it's worth it because I enjoy driving this car so much. Yeah, it's a lot more fun going up this way. And so that's a quick look at my Honda S2000. I hope you like it. I love it, and I want it. This next clip is from Joseph Lloyd of Lloyd's Vehicle Consulting, and as you probably know from having watched the last virtual car meet, Joseph already showed off his Vauxhall Astra twin top, but secretly he had another car in his garage that I was keen to see more of. Those of you that know what I do in my day job will know that I'm actually a videographer and presenter of sorts for the Classics World YouTube channel. This car that we're about to see was my company car for about six months. I drove all over the country in it and I absolutely love it. So without further ado, I get to be reunited and you get to meet my former company car, a Rover 216 SLI. My name is Joseph Lloyd, I'm from the Lloyd Vehicle Consulting YouTube channel and uh, Mr Joe Miller from Miller Corner has asked me to do another video for him, this time on his former company car. This is a 1991 Rover 216 SLI Automatic. It was formerly part of a Classics World fleet and uh, Mr Miller used to have this as his company car. This is a wonderful car. It's done about 88,000 miles from new. It's done about 1,000 miles of my ownership. I uh, picked it up on 29th of February. It's not in perfect condition. As you can see, we've got bits of rust, various points of the car. I've got a new front wing, which I will show you um, that Mr. Miller very kindly gave me. We have fixed this roof lining, which is hanging down just by using some staples, which uh, was pretty handy. It's a spare wheel from the Rover 25, but they're exactly the same as the ones on an R8, and that just goes straight in there like that. Fantastic. One of the other things we've done with the car is change the front brake pads, because they, they were not in a good state, the ones that um, came off the car, so those have been replaced. And uh, we've got, also got the original radio in the car, or, or original Philips one anyway. The interior is actually very good in this car, but the wood's been the wood's been done by Mr. Miller at some point in the past, and it's looking good. Manual sunroof all works okay, as do the electric windows. Overall, this is a fantastic little car. So thank you very much indeed once again, Mr. Miller, for allowing me to be on your channel, and I hope it, you're happy to see this beautiful Rover once again. I think I'm going to be buying another Rover to actually replace her eventually. So good to see that old Rover again. I daily drove that car for about six months. I put about 4,000 miles on it and I loved it. It was comfortable, relaxing, practical, and had a real charming character to it. I absolutely fell in love with that thing. And when the time came for my company to sell it, a little bit of me wishes I bought it. Love that car. Finally, we come to Cody, who watches my videos all the way from Canada. Now, Cody's car is a cheap, small, crappy car that most people don't really care about, but that he absolutely loves, and he's ploughed more money and time and dedication into it than most people would consider sensible. But for that reason alone, I absolutely love this car. I love his relationship with it. Play the clip. It's fantastic. Hey, Joe. Hey, everybody. Rally Derek Strike here. Um, behind me is my 2009 Hyundai Accent, affectionately known as humdrum. This is, uh, as I said, my 2009 Hyundai Accent. Um, this was a base trim, so an L or a GL, I forget what it was called in Canada. Absolutely no features, so uh, no ABS, no traction control, no power locks, no power mirrors, no cruise control, um, but I love it that way, less to go wrong. Uh, I do have a 1993 North American spec Ford, Ax uh, Ford Escort, rather, alloy wheels on it, which I actually think look pretty good, considering. I love the bubble butt on this car, just the way it sort of curves around and looks kind of stunted compared to the front. I don't know why, I just like that. It does have an awesome factory spoiler as well. I love this body line that runs from the front mirror all the way along the bottom of the windows and meets up with the tail light here. I don't know, the designers were trying, given that it was an economy car, but I do have LED tail lights in all of the lenses. 
Uh, I do have LED bulbs in the reverse lights as well, all from Philips. I do need to replace this headlight, so she is a little bit nuggety because this one's looking pretty UV damaged. I actually have had that restored once already and it's already starting to go yellow and cloudy again, which sucks. Another mod on the front of the car is my fog lights. These are OEM style, so that's exactly where they would have been installed from the factory. Um, but my car did not come with OEM, uh, pardon me, with factory fog lights, so I installed those myself. Pardon the Korean dinging, which a lot of their cars did at this time. Inside's nice and cozy. Three seats in the back. They are split folding seats, so you can put them down and fit a surprising amount of stuff in the trunk. I do have a dash cam, which plugs into one of my two 12-volt sockets, which was factory WRC World Rally Championship knob that I had on my old Subaru, and I'd love to be able to keep on all my cars as time goes on. It's a nice little piece of personal history given to me by a close friend. Engine is the same one and drivetrain, I should say, is the same one that you'd find in the same generation Kia Rio because that car shared a platform to this. So this is the Hyundai Kia G4 ED Alpha 2 uh, 1.6 liter four-cylinder engine with 110 horsepower. Uh, I love this thing. It's been dead reliable. I love the styling of it despite it being a little cheap Korean runaround. People just consider them disposable and I really love mine. So 175, 176,000 or so kilometers right now and hopefully it goes for another 175. That is what this channel is all about. Cars that most people wouldn't look twice at, but that to you mean the world. So to Cody and to everyone else who sent a clip in, thank you so much for doing so. I know if you're not a YouTuber, it's not the most natural thing in the world to pick up a camera, walk around a car and talk about it. So if you took the time to do that, Thank you so much. It was brilliant of you and I am so, so grateful. I reckon we make this a regular thing now. So all the details are on screen now for if you want to take part in the Miller Corner Virtual Car Meet, the third. For now though, thanks so much to everyone who sent a clip in and to you for watching. Catch you soon and have a good one.